Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Technical Play. My name is MCSH and in the last episode we started to use Applied Energy Sticks 2. Uh, it is awesome. I can say that I have... I feel organized actually. I feel a lot more organized. And um, nothing else has changed really. I have been uh, trying to grow these crystals and they grow really slow and uh, all of them do their things and uh, try to do other stuff so our next problem is really this machine you know the one that we use to convert iron into iron dust and it's not really uh, this is not fun, I can tell you that much. And it takes a lot of time to just convert one piece of iron. And I want to change that. Basically, the thing we want to create is this stack mill from Ender.io. And this is a really good machine, it is really fast. And this is pretty much awesome. The only problem is that uh, in order to create one of these, we need dark steel which is which needs an alloy smelter and in order to use an alloy smelter we need uh, in order to create an alloy smelter we also need another dark steel so it's basically a loop unless we create a simple alloy smelter now this is a terrible device it's not nearly half as efficient as the alloy smelter but it gets the job done so I'm trying to create one of these and uh, this should be just alloy smelter simple alloy smelter and yeah so we need some piece of stick that should, that should be easy we also need a green of infinity which I think we can get by using a flint and steel on bedrock. So I'll go down and I'll do that and I'll come back to you. So that was successful. I think I gathered 11 pieces of grains of infinity, which uh, is a little weird because there's a random chance that you might get some one or nothing. I think the chance is 15 percent, and I got really lucky. I uh, basically got like 18 percent of the uh, tries that I had. So um, oh no, you're out of power. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, we also need to do something for our power generation, but I'll lay smelter and segment first. So we have a grain of infinity. We need some piece of iron, four here and three there. So seven in total. How many do I have here? Iron. Okay. I'll, um, I think this should be enough. Oh. So I'll grind through these and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I think I have everything we need. So let's create our simple alloy smelter. First, we need a simple machine chassis. And then finally, we create our simple alloy smelter. Nice. So let's go down and place it over here. Um, we don't really need the charger at this point. I'm just going to place it here for now. So yeah, you can see that it has it has a leakage. Oh my god. So we need to move fast. Let's find our sag meal, and this is it. We don't need this simple alloy smelter anymore. So, we need 
dark steel. How many do we need? So we need at least two here. Two for the uh, bimetal gears and two here, so four. And what's in the survey plant? Okay, so we need four dark steel. And for dark steel, we need an obsidian, a coal dust, and an iron ingot. So we need four iron ingots. Which. Okay. Um, iron. Oh, wait, I have something. I'll uh, gather the material and I'll come back to you. Okay, this is really slow, and uh, I don't think we have enough. Okay, we have some power. All right. So while that is going, let's look at our options for power generation. So we have different kind of generation in this pack. We have a combustion generator, which burns liquid fuel. We have a sterling generator which burns food I think no burns fuel and it's relatively easy to make once we gather our enough uh, once we gather you know enough dark steel we can easily create one of those there's a zombie generator um, which I don't, I don't want to know how that works and there's an ender generator as well other than that, I think we have a coal generator, which works from, uh, which is from Earth Tools, that I think we are using at the moment. There is an endergenic generator, which uses ender poles, and there is a steam tube housing, which is from Railcraft. We also have solar panels. I installed uh, this solar flux reborn. And uh, these are relatively cheap to make. I think they need uh, one piece of iron, three pieces of glass, and uh, redstone and some wood. And you get one RF pertic, which is really, really not that much. But hey, you can later upgrade it to eight RF pertic using eight of those, and then you can later upgrade that to 32 using three of the previous ones so basically this needs one piece of iron this needs eight and this needs 24 24 plus some here and yeah oh wait great uh, so this was eight piece of iron and this is four times eight thirty two plus whatever this requires so that uh, we need a lot of iron and a lot of crafting for that and uh, I think we should postpone these um, and use applied energy sticks crafters whenever we can. So it might be a while. Uh, this is not done yet, so let's go check out on our crystal and see how much that has progressed. I think 90%, okay. Um, there are ways to speed that up. I think we can create a crystal growth chamber, which is really expensive at this point. We need to create uh, well, six of these, which requires lots of different flex crystals. And uh, yeah, we don't have that much yet. We could uh, create them, but way down the line way down the line especially since we don't have much of these status cords I need to go on a mining session and gather them all right I think this should be done uh, almost okay so now uh, actually let's just pick this up because it is wasting energy so now I'm going to insert this device here 
and look at our segment. So we can create these. Uh, all right, and a piston and two flints. I don't have enough flints. I have two flints, but I have eight gravel. So what we can do? Uh, basically, there are ways to create gravel. We can use an enchanter. No way. We can use a rock crusher that crushes a rock, and there's a ten percent chance that we get a flint out of it. We can use a. Mm, we can use this device, which is no, and uh, we can use a side mill. And the sag meal has a chance of 30% to drop a flint. So I think uh, our best shot is either using this method. Which was a failure, to say at least. Uh, and got one flint out of all that. And the other method is using this one, which we need a gravel here and then just grind away. And this will take a lot of time, and I really don't like that. So let's create that segment. So anyway, I think I hit a, a dead end because for some reason I thought I could create a lapis lazuli powder using a crusher, which I don't think it is possible. And we also need to organic green dye, which is, that's really hard to get for me. Two cactus screen and two coal dust with a slum ball or one cactus, one egg and one coal dust. So yeah, I think I think uh, egg is cheaper than slime ball at least for us. So I need two more coal dust, two cactus screen. So let's okay we have the cactus screen. We should have uh, egg 
and so we only need two more coal dusts. Which, okay, uh, let's just use this. And um, I think we need to create a simple side mill after all. I really didn't want to, cre to create this because I think it's a waste of our resources. But, uh, okay. I think uh, these are basically the same. After all. Alright. I'll uh, craft this up. And I'll come back. So we have our simple side mill, which is a okay start. And let's just convert our lapis lazuli first. And I'm really happy to say we no longer need this thing. I really hate you. you should know that. I really hate you. And. And the last thing we need is an industrial die which requires a... What was it? Okay, coal powder, egg, and cactus green. So, let's move you. And we need you. Well, uh, so, we, it was cactus, egg, and charcoal dust. Okay. And it's done. So now we can craft this. And then we can craft... Oh, we need another simple mesh. Oh. Come on. Where's the second one? So, yeah. How many do we need? Uh, we need four pieces of art. And I think we have enough iron bars. Can I cook you here? No? Okay. Because this machine is busy crafting charcoal. Okay, so while that cooks, I want to check to see how our crystals are doing. And they are still at 22%. Oh my god, this is taking so long. Okay, and uh, let's put the wood back. So now we can craft our simple machine chassis. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? And... Uh, Tin powder. Okay, thank you. We need to put our simple alloy smelter with this and an industrial die in, and we now wait until it reaches 100, and then we can craft our side mail. Oh wow! Here's our mail. Finally. Finally. We can put this down and it needs a capacitor. We don't have any capacitors. And since we... Uh, we don't have any, right? Yeah. How can I get one? So we can grab one of these basic capacitors. And in a 
is a copper. How do you get copper? Okay, we don't have any copper. We don't have any method to get copper. And we don't have any capacitor in the wild because we added uh, RF tools. So, sorry, we had. No, okay. And there it was in from the day one. We added RF tools to it, right? Yeah. So we should be able to find some copper. Shouldn't we? I should look into it. Alright, uh, I think uh, I should go and mine for some copper and I'll come back to you. So, remember when I said I'm not gonna use this device ever again? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Alright, so I think I spent two iron pickaxe, two iron pickaxe worth of mining and I haven't found a single uh, what was it called? Um, wait. Oh, a single copper. Right. And I haven't found a single piece of copper. And, uh, yeah, this is a little bit troublesome because we really need those. Okay, what, you, what did you want to create? I forgot. Anyway, um, yeah, it has been that long. And, uh, yeah. So, I think um, there's another way to get a uh, copper powder. And that's using a gold ore in a sag mill. And there's a 20% chance of it generating a dust of copper and we can increase that by using a iron alloy and so to create our capacitors which is this one we we'll basically have to get have at least one copper ingot so what I'm going to do I'm going to create another simple sag mill this one here and then uh, we can take it from there. So yeah, I'll grind away. So here is our second simple alloy smelter and all of the gold we have. Hopefully this will be enough to get one and just one piece of copper. And it is Dust and cobblestone. Okay. Come on, come on, piece of copper. Okay, this is this is not helping. <laughs> come on. Okay, only gold this time. And uh, yes, okay, this is all we need. So now I'm just going to smelt this. Well, we might as well smelt the dust, the gold dust as well, because yeah, why not? Okay, and now to create our capacitor. Oh, uh, yeah, to create our capacitor we need 4 gold nuggets and 2 grains of infinity. And uh, we have all of it. So here's our one basic capacitor. And yeah, I 
it's starting to work. Finally. Oh, we got another one. Look at that. So, yeah. I'm just going to put everything up. And we might as well create a normal alloy smelter. So, how do we create that? We just... Um... Oh, we can't use our uh, simple alloy smelter. Seems like it. Okay. So what do we need? We need two dark steel, four, and uh, two power furnace. Okay. I'm going to create that one later, and we ran out of power as well. Yikes. So, here we go. And let's just put everything I have here. Um, yeah, this needs to charge up before we can... Why are you not working? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, uh, perhaps it's in the internal buffer. Okay, so once this fills up, our ME system will be back online. And yeah, okay. So we have our ME system back up, and we can just sort everything here again. Awesome. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me this time, and I hope. This isn't a long one. Oh, and I just filled up our system again. Okay, uh, we have a lot of work to do, and we'll get to doing all of them later in the ne next episodes. So, until next time, thank you for joining me, and I hope I'll see you then. Bye-bye.